And also there's uh, all the other things about speech. I mean, uh, <coughs> the, the, the fact we don't use musical terminology, which we should do, really. I mean, what key are you speaking in? Do you have any idea about what key you're speaking in? Are you in a major key or a minor key? Yeah, but it's true, isn't it? Yeah. That's a major key, yeah. and that's a minor key. Right. And if you're speaking in a minor key, you're in a doubtful situation. Whereas if you're speaking in a major key, you're absolutely sure of what you're doing. Right. So the selection of what key you speak in is very important. And you can vary the keys, but that's the variation of speech. You go from a minor idea to a major one, and that's a glissand. And if you don't make the glissand, yeah, if there isn't somewhere in the voice where you go, it'll be, yeah, so you take me up there with you, all I get is a broke, a break, unless you mean to make that break. I mean, there are hundreds of things you have to select to do, uh, technically, before your character is even expressed. Does, why does this person have hiccups? You know? yeah. And if you have a character that has a hiccup, why do they have hiccups? <laughs> because there's something in the belly that's nervously pulling. And if you just go, hick, hick, you're doing the wrong thing, you have to do it from here. Because that's what a hiccup is. And that changes the nature of how you speak and who you are. It changes your physical condition. Do, 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 do the hiccup again? <laughs> But it starts here. Everything starts really in the belly. That's the point.